Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome on behalf of the Maydown Chamber of Commerce. We're here today to celebrate um, what I consider a momentous occasion, especially in the small business community. And that's 10 years of business for you guys as a company. You guys own and operate Mountain uh, Area Community Services, established in Asheville originally, and then you guys have grown into uh, the Bard area and even over here into Marion and the Dow County. Um, you guys serve people and persons with intellectual and development disabilities. Am I correct? Yeah. And established, I think, uh, if I remember right, Rick, we said uh, April of 2004 when you guys opened your doors. Correct. And uh, it's been growing ever since, and that's exciting. And like I said, especially in the small business community. Um, to my immediate left is Rick Zare, Vice President and Co-Owner. And to his left is Rick Luther, who is also the President and Co-Owner of the business as well. And if you guys would just share with me a little bit about what it is that you guys do and provide for our community. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we do a lot of things. Uh, like you said, we provide uh, services for folks with uh, intellectual development and disabilities, both children and adults and families. Uh, we provide uh, residential services uh, for folks. We provide a day program service here for adults, uh, community-based community networking and social uh, opportunities for folks. And we also provide uh, respite care services for families uh, who may have uh, you know, family members or children uh, who are more challenging and they need a break um, from the day-to-day -day grind of providing care for folks. And uh, we also provide a host of community-based uh, services for children and adults. In other words, in people's homes and in their neighborhoods, we send our workers out into, uh, into the field to help uh, train folks to become more independent. Uh, and also to provide personal care services. And, and, and things as is, is great as like helping them with job skills mm -hmm. and finding yeah. employment. Yeah. We and, I, and I think it's neat. That's the point you made I thought was really neat because the fact you guys don't don't always expect them to come to you. You guys are going out into the community yeah. right. and servicing them there where they're comfortable in their homes and things like that. I think that's phenomenal. So, 10 years, how's it feel? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it, Rick. I mean, you said. You said earlier it was just, it, it just happened like it was yesterday, it seemed like. Okay, well, we were very tired. <laughs> uh, I think uh, it was probably a lot more work than either of us thought that it was going to be when we started out. Because I told you before, we, we started out in mental health, right? And gradually grew into development services. We've just been very blessed. We've uh, come through a lot through the economy. And, uh, Seems like every time uh, we went into a, a valley, so to speak, uh, another little opened, and we have been able to uh, stay in business. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's well. tremendous. Again. And we actually started in, in the sunroom of my home with three individuals. Yeah. Yeah. Rick had mentioned that earlier. I thought yeah. that was neat. Yeah. yeah, we have three employees, and uh, I believe we have 150 employees now, and we work in. I, I think it's um, 11 counties that you guys have services directly in, and I think you're endorsed to provide services yep. in an additional 12 surrounding counties. Yeah. Basically homework. covered, I have, I've done a little bit of homework, but again, just, just because of the fact that you guys are 10 years, and that is a big deal. Uh, again, we have some small business owners in our, in our midst, and they'll vouch for that. That is a big accomplishment for 10 years in a small business community, with the changes, like you said, Rick, that go on in, in today's economy. And uh, very, very proud of you guys. Proud that you guys have been with the Chamber since uh, May of 2006. And we're, we're proud to call you our own here and uh, again support you here in this community any way we can. And, um, but uh, we're also fortunate enough to have some, uh, some guests with us today. Uh, our ambassadors from the Chamber, these are our folks that are out that work in the local businesses or, or even the business owners themselves, like, like Nancy here from. Uh, What's the name of your store? For <laughs> 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 uh, Spencer's Hardware. She's, she's another one that's uh, been around and contesting what you guys have accomplished. But uh, there is a special guest amongst us, and that is the mayor of our city, Steve Little. Give him an opportunity to just congratulate you guys on your accomplishment. Mayor Little. Thank you to uh, Rick and Rick. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad that you're part of Marion and our uh, city and the services that you provide. It's one of the things about being in Marion that makes me proud is that we have people who have expanded a service that is desperately needed, probably by below the radar of a lot of people, except for those who 
become aware and have a need, and then they appreciate it at a level that most people would never even imagine. I'm proud of you for what you've done. As the mayor, I'm speaking for the whole city to say, we're glad you're here. The only thing that we can do as a municipality to make your next 10 years good, we all try to do it if we possibly can. So congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Um, any ambassadors care to speak? I'm Eddie Schubert from Dallas Tech and the Chamber of Board. I just want to congratulate you guys and thank you for what you do for the county and for all the, uh, the folks that uh, you deal with every day. And just, uh, it is a big thing, 10 years, and congratulations on that. you up for some assistance with some, with some of our folks that are looking for some vocational and educational opportunities over at the that we love to have. All right. I just want to thank you for the services but also for the volunteer work that y'all do and the, the extra uh, being part of the community in other ways. Uh, Rick is the vice president, soon to be president of the New England Association. We won the small business of the year award last year. Very, very good. Awesome. Thank you. That says a lot. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's, a, it's a testament to you guys' character. And not only, again, what Mayor said, you, you, you're dealing with a, an entity that normally flies below the normal radar. But here you guys are giving back to your community and volunteer work and being part of different organizations that are, that are trying to make the community better. And, and I, I um, congratulate you guys on that as well. Um, if there's nothing else, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll close up right here. We'll walk out front, or unless you guys want to do it here, we'll get us a ribbon cut and celebrate 10 years in business. And again, that's uh, that's a great job. So congrats. To you.